All right, what's going on guys? This is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. Today, we're gonna to be checking out some upgrades that I put on my Rock Pirates RC Interceptor build. That one has Vanquish F10 portal axles, which are excellent axles. I really, really like that design a lot. Vanquish recently released their brass uh, portal cover weights, and I installed them on the truck. We're gonna go run it today. Traction's a little limited, but we're still gonna look for the differences in weight up front and how that can be an advantage for us. Let's check it out and see how these things perform. All right, so this is my Rock Pirates RC Interceptor chassis. And what's really cool about this chassis is that it's adaptable to multiple platforms to where it's basically a bolt-on kit. Like you can put multiple different trucks, parts in the rails and uh, they work together in harmony. You can also mix and match different brands, which this truck has a little bit of in as well. So for example, I have an Element servo and winch tray in the front of this but I'm using a Vanquish transmission, a Vanquish skid plate, and Vanquish axles. So this has the F10 portals, which are from the Phoenix portal. And then we've also got the Vanquish VFD transmission in here. I did not choose to go with the twin because this is my class two competition for our local comps. Uh, yeah, it's not like a hard body, it's not pointed out, but for where we run, it's legal in the class two uh, comps that we run. So I didn't want dig or adjustable overdrive because it's not allowed. So, you know, I just wanted to build a truck lighter weight in the transmission. So the VFD works great. And it also puts the motor low and forward in the truck, giving us a low and forward weight bias, which is what we're after. However, after I put the whole truck together, uh, I, do, I don't like to run weights inside my wheels. Um, luckily, Vanquish finally came out with brass portal covers for these axles. Now, some awesome advantages to Vanquish doing it themselves is that it ends up not limiting your steering in any way. It also works with the Vanquish uh, SLW hubs, which I am running on this truck. I think I've got 350s on here. These are my standard uh, Vanquish 1.9 Method 105 wheels. I actually got these in Wheel of Fortune. We'll talk about that in a second. But they fit right on there with pretty narrow hubs, not, nothing too crazy. And then I've also got spec RC wheels with Vanquish SLW hubs, and they will work with the weights as well. So it's a lot of brass up there, but it's designed really well to integrate great with the wheel and hub combos you might have already. And uh, it really doesn't affect the amount of overall clearance that a wheel will need to fit these axles. As you can see there, still got great steering angle. And you can see that big brass weight hanging out up front. So just trying to get off our belly here. Just trying to get this belly to slide around this nub. Yeah, we're pretty bellied out if we can't back up. So I've been out driving my SCX-6 as well today, shooting some video, and these rocks are about as slick as they get. I got denied a lot, so we're not gonna be pulling any real wild lines today. We'll be lucky if we can get up this wall. However, this truck does have pretty good wheel speed. Another thing I wanna talk about, but today isn't the appropriate time because I can't really test or show you guys, are these tires. These are Jetco tires. Now they're pretty interesting. And the tread design is different than uh, other off-road RC tires I've seen. So I, I, I was kind of interested. The compound seems pretty good. I've been running them for a little while. And they scrub in, but they don't wear out. So, I mean, obviously they, they can wear out. That was a good climb. Didn't have to get too crazy with it. But the compound seems good. I like the feel of it, and I like how it's wearing so far. They're probably closer to a G8 than a Predator. And like, they're, they're actually very similar to a G8, really, as far as how they break in and all that fun stuff. So now, we've really loaded our tires up with sand. And now they're not gonna wanna go anywhere. All right, we're gonna try something where hopefully a little less traction is required. However, we're still gonna need some. So I do want to point out right there, look at that steering angle, these F10 portal axles. If you shave the steering stops on them, it puts more binding on your CV joints, just so you know. But 
holy cow man for a comp truck i'll take it because this thing turns sharp throw some overdrive at it as well which i have done i've got underdrive ring gear in the rear overdrive ring gear in the front we're going to use our reefs 1100 smart servo with the front tire pinch like that i can turn driver and it'll slide the rear off the ledge check this out yeah just like i wanted overdrive is going to pull that front tire right back up and now we're balanced in the crack heading back towards ourselves awesome stuff i found this spot with the first rc car that i had when i moved down here i had an old 1.9 wraith and i have a picture of it sitting in here and uh yeah i've been driving this one for a long time it's always been a challenge it's never been easy probably a wider vehicle is a little bit easier but the real challenge is keeping the passenger front out of the overhang on the way down. So that is one part of adding a bunch of weight to the front of your truck, getting back to the knuckles, is that it gives your truck more forward weight bias. However, when you come down something steep, all that weight up front, the light rear end just wants to flip over the front. So it needs to be a nice balance, right? You can't go too crazy. Now, when building these axles, they have the option of the uh, brass tube inserts. I did not insert the brass tubes on the rear, but I did put them in the front. So on these Method 105s, I won these off, of, or I guess I didn't win them, but I was given these from the Wheels of Fortune that Vanquish did in 2022 holiday sales. Um, I don't mind the 105s, I don't mind the bronze. They gave me IFRs with them, but they were a anodized blue. Not that I care that they're blue, but I also don't think blue and bronze go well together at all. It could just be me. But then on top of that, none of my trucks have any blue on them. And it's not that I don't like blue, it's just apparently never gone that route. Oh dear, we're gonna lose it. It actually stayed more planted than I expected until I turned the wrong way when backing up. So these weights are helping. So you guys will have to let me know, am I just crazy that I don't like bronze and blue, or am I correct that not the best combo that could have been given? But that's the risk you take with taking Wheels of Fortune. I was just curious what I'd end up with. I did put a note in the order, I was hoping that Brandon would pick my set. I did not get a set from Brandon, so, oh well. I got these bronze methods. And they look pretty good with the uh, copper stripe on the old interceptor. One side has the silver normal hardware, and then one side has scale hardware, because I happen to have uh, 12 extra scale hardware. So only half the truck looks good. <laughs> so do you guys ever get out and wheel in adverse weather conditions? You go out in the rain, you go out in the snow. It so rarely snows down here that I love to go out in the snow down here. I always end up soaking wet and freezing cold, but you know what? Some of the footage I get, I watch it, it now and uh, you forget about all the bad stuff and you just remember how fun it was out there ripping around in the snow. Ooh, got a hook. Now this is something that uh, high amounts of overdrive can make kind of funky is if you're backing up your front tires will outrun your rear tires. And so when you're on a steep ledge like that and you want to keep your fronts planted up there they will push off faster than the rears will back up. And if you get it real steep, uh, it will just flip your truck over. So that's something to keep in mind. So you don't want like insane amounts of overdrive if you're ever planning on backing up. Holy cow, there we go. Exactly what I was talking about. Front weight's up, drag the skid across. I mean, that was as extreme as it gets because the rear was just hanging feet in the air there and it pulled itself up and over. A little bit of wiggling on the steering, some wheel speed, and she got it done. Pretty happy with that little demo there. That's, that's what I'm talking about. And it doesn't always have to be that extreme, but I didn't want to lose it. <laughs> Yeah, so today the climbs aren't happening, so I guess we can just play more with weird line choice and getting the truck in odd angles and trying to keep it stable as we go. 
So laying that front across the far side, use all of our steering to bring it across. And as that rear tire falls off, I'm gonna dip the front as well. And let's see if the truck leans forward or back. Lean back right there. It's stable though, it didn't wanna try and lift that front tire. So it's pretty close to balanced. It, does, it is on a little bit of an uphill, so that didn't help our cause. Nice, that was cool. Truck worked well through that. This is an interesting one because it's a drop and a climb and a side hill all in one. But we're heading pretty good downhill right now. Now we're gonna start our steep climb. A little too much of an angle on that wall, but I can't get my bumper in the rock either. Yep, that's not good. Perfect, just got that front landed before the rear came off the wall. Hasn't come off the wall yet. But I'm gonna try and hold the truck in with that front tire. And then we're gonna transfer off the sidewalls. Just pulling it with the front driver. We made it up and out, that was a good line, that worked great. Hard to do in uh, poor traction weather. Well guys, the GoPro battery is getting low and I wanted to mention something before I go. If you guys want to come hang out on a live stream with me and my buddy Luke from Scumbag RC, every week on Thursday night at 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, he and myself usually have a guest on and we talk to awesome people in the RC community. And we've talked to some big names, like we've talked to Reefs RC, Shift RC, Rock Pirates RC, G-Speed, a lot of our friends on there as well, other content creators that we know from Instagram that we've never actually met. So if that sounds like something you wanna check out, it's on my Instagram, West Desert Wheeler. The old videos are still on there under the videos tab, and you can tune in every Thursday and chat with us. So be sure to check out our show, Radio Talk, which is on the top right corner of the bed there. Had some stickers made. Uh, Radio Talk, every Thursday night at nine, Mountain Standard Time on Instagram, where we're live. <laughs> Hobby wing power. All right, the only other time I've tried this was with my rear steer Capra with Dig. So we'll see what happens. But I greatly appreciate you guys checking this out. I apologize that the traction isn't as high as normal. It, it keeps things interesting, I'll tell you that. It's definitely difficult, but uh, maybe it doesn't look as crazy on camera. But hey, I appreciate you guys checking it out and staying this long. Get subscribed if you're not already. I would appreciate it. Help the channel grow. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, at West Desert Wheeler. It'll give you notifications when I go live. You can see awesome content that's exclusive there, like pictures of my trucks. And you will hear about the new parts and awesome stuff I grab as I go. Don't forget to check out my website, westdesertwheeler.com. Got some cool capper parts in there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Keep the rubber side down. Hit the affiliate links down below to support me here on the channel. Two full years going full time on YouTube. I greatly appreciate your guys' support. You're the best. Let's keep it up. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys in the next one.